So I'm out here with the dogs. Hey dog. Oh yeah, I thought that was a fox bone. I thought that was a fox bone. No, nope, that's just a regular bone. All right. Boots, boots. There's boots. And this is Benelli. My two guard dogs here. They're really good dogs until they're not. And what I mean by that is they have, they're excellent dogs. I love them. They do a great job at protecting the farm here, but they also do a great job at being dogs. And being dogs, I mean, they, uh, they attack the livestock. They attack the goats. Um, and there's my other dog, Scruffy, poor thing. I definitely need to get him trimmed. But yeah, this is the, the frog uh, orgy area. It's usually where I keep the goat water, but at night, the frogs come in and they... You know, there's usually about eight frogs in there, and they uh, they have a good old time in there, if you know what I mean. They lay frog spawn, and the next day the goats drink out of the water, and all the frog spawn goes into goats, and they got to do it all over again the next day. Anyway, the goats are doing great. Ricky here, he's adorable as always, being a good sport. These goats are very, very fat. I really, really, really need to get rid of them because they've definitely consumed everything here. All the viable nutrition from the area is gone. So time to move them to a different paddock. The idea here, excuse everything. The idea here is to get all this area down to where it's nice and powdery like the other area. So I could go ahead and run, a, run something to level this dirt here, run some equipment or run something through there plant some seed in the fall and get all this seeded over uh, this area still got uh, still has a little bit of uh, dry matter in it so pretty much run the goats in here do the same thing and you know have use make some use out of all that same thing over here on this area same thing neighbors are throwing up their fireworks yeah that's usually what happens here yeah I know boots it's crazy here uh, good dog I know you know, if we still lived at the other place, y'all would be used to gunshots, but can't shoot here. Oh, hey, what's up, Boots? What's up, Boots? All right, Boots, I know, I know, I know. You'll be all right. You'll be all right. You'll survive. You'll survive. You'll survive. Hey, Boots. Boots, 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 Boots. Boots, 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 Boots. Benelli. Hey, Benelli. Hey, Benelli. He's gruff. Hey, bud. Sorry, but I know you're ugly. I'm sorry. Come on. I'm not going to get furry dogs anymore. Oh! <laughs> Boots knocked the phone right out of my hand. Let's go over here and let's go see the... Let's go see the... Let's go see the... Would you stop, Boots? I had to kick them out of here because they just tear everything apart, man. There, they make a mess. Hey, goats. I know. Don't like it. I know. Alright, got eight does and five bucks, six bucks. Everybody's still alive, everybody's still here. This is it. So the does definitely need to be transferred over to a new area, but that'll be a little later and a little different. I'm gonna let them, uh, what I'm really trying to do is I'm trying to let all this grass grow and uh, start throwing out some uh, runners. I know they got stallions or something but essentially what I want is the rhizome to uh, I want the rhizome to grow on this Bermuda grass before I set the goats hey boots you need to relax girl I know boots you need to relax you need to relax uh, let these rhizomes grow so uh, it could spread you know the Bermuda grass could spread oh this is definitely interesting here but yeah Anyway, starting to get real nice and green over here. This area is really nice. There we go, here's my plum tree. I love these things, these are, oh my lord, these are good. I didn't really have much going on here when I first bought the place, but I've definitely made it my own. I'm starting to grow fruit just about every year now. Well, this is my second year, so not necessarily every year, I guess you would say. Going on year number two. 
So it kind of works out, kind of everything's good. And uh, let's try it out. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. I got some watermelons growing over here. You got an experiment going on with these South Alpha too. And I got some giant pumpkins growing. So I got a whole lot of crap growing. Not as much as I usually do, but that's okay. I'll get it next year. This year the season's kind of over. or very late. So I won't get the yield that I want or need. Oh damn. Man, it seems like my irrigation is a little bit too far over too. That is just because there's no wind. Yeah, it's because there's no wind. Anyway, let me uh, wipe down the lens. There we go. Cool. Another area over here. Yeah, there we go. So this area is a little bit more green. We got a little bit more green in this area. And the reason behind that is because the cattle haven't been here in, oh, I don't know, a couple weeks, maybe a little more. So uh, nothing to eat it here. So it's all looking pretty green. Still got to get all that taken care of. Still got to replace all this fence. It's pretty gross right here. This fence is pretty old and not very good. Cattle start leaning on it. It's going to gonna be a problem but I plan to replace the fence next year not this year this year I got to finish doing some other things but everything one year at a time or at least one month at a time but yeah very cool finally got all the fencing done um, I still need to get a paddock in this area right here one more and that'll allow me to uh, control the grazing a little better and the reason why I want to control the grazing is so I don't get overgrazing. Because when you overgraze, you reduce the efficiency of the pasture and you also, uh, it's not good. Just because you ha you're going to end up having to put some kind of fertilizer or something into the ground so your performance could be the same. And, uh, Anyway, you just don't want to do that. You don't want to overgraze. It's never a good idea. Your recovery rate on your grass and grains will be uh, too much. So, anyway, uh, we're going to probably overgraze it. <laughs> That's usually the way it goes. Uh, this is my first year with irrigation out here. So, we'll see how it rolls. Hopefully, everything works out great. And everything is all hunky-dory. Anyway think eight minutes is long enough I'm probably gonna split this off to three videos because there's a couple other things I want to kind of show and uh, I just don't have well I've got plenty of time right now but I just don't want to edit everything so you know how it rolls unedited raw here it goes maybe a few videos here and there will get edited but very lightly nothing major little updates me rambling showing you my place showing you my progress and it's kind of what I like to do because uh, it, it's perfect I literally get to uh, see all the progress and everything in my house and what I've done here I've got other videos I haven't posted and other things I haven't posted and it's it's awesome because it makes me look back and be like yeah this place has came a long way you know kind of like Anyway, I'm not going to go kind of like what, but you know, you know, if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. It's, it's a good feeling. Alright, well, that's it for this one.